What is up everybody, AJ here, and in today's video, I'm gonna teach you how to sign documents digitally using Windows Ink. Before we get into it, I wanna answer the question of why and where would digital ink be handy for you? So if you've ever had to sign a document, whether it's for school, for the tax, for work, anything where you've marked something up with a pen, and then most likely grabbed out your phone, taken a photo of it, emailed it to yourself, then sent it off to somebody, and then thrown that piece of paper away, this is gonna be really handy for you. The benefit of it all is it's gonna save you time, it's gonna save you money, and you're gonna have a digital history of everything because it's all on your computer. I'm gonna show you two free programs today. I'm gonna to link them in the description below. If you find this video useful, give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and let me know what other content you want me to cover. And with that being said, how about we get into this? I'm gonna be running the entire demo today using pen and touch screen. I'd recommend if you're unfamiliar with Windows 10 touchscreen, have a look at my other video teaching the basic tips and tricks and gestures of using hand input on your Windows 10 PC. All right, so I've got my sample document here and I'm gonna right click on it and I'm gonna open with Microsoft Edge. Microsoft Edge is a default web browser on your Windows 10 PC and it has some really powerful features. One of the best features I believe is that it's built into your computer and it has the option to annotate and draw already inside of it. So there's no extra software needed, it's already here on your PC. You can see we've got our PDF document and along the top here we have a few different options. We've got the option to zoom in and zoom out. We've got the option to rotate the page if we wanted to rotate it for whatever reason. You have the option to fit the width. So if I press that it's gonna expand the entire width of the screen. This is giving me more viewing and reading space. I'm gonna scroll down to where it needs me to add my signature. I have the option for reading aloud, which is a great accessibility feature, but what we're focusing on today is the draw and erase option. So you can see here it has the option to draw, and instead of pressing draw, I'm gonna drop down the little arrow, and I can adjust the thickness of the pen, and I can also choose a whole bunch of different colors. So for this example, I'm gonna grab cool orange color, we've now selected draw, and I'm just gonna write my name on here. And you know what, I'm going to date it, uh, today's date's the 21st. I've got extremely messy handwriting, but if you want to get the computer to improve its understanding and recognition for your handwriting, check out my other video above. So you see, I've just written my name here, and that's it, I've signed the document. I can hit the erase button and erase things just like I would on a piece of paper. But that's essentially it, I've signed this document. I can now save it and send it off. What I'd recommend, what I always recommend is instead of hitting the save button and overwriting the existing copy, is you hit the print option. You hit the print option and it will bring up the print page. This is gonna create a second version of the document that's signed. So I would, you can see here we've got the sample document which is the original. And here I'll just call it signed using Edge. Save. And I can now close that document. I'm going to leave because we've already made a copy of it. And you can see on the desktop here, I've got the original sample document. And if I open up the one that says signed using Edge, it's going to open up in my Edge browser or whatever I have set as my default PDF browser. And you can see that I've signed the document. Really quick, really simple, and no need for any extra steps. Just use the, the computer, grab your pen, and off you go. That is the first program that I would recommend, and honestly, if it's for basic editing, I really love it because it's so quick, it's light, and it's already installed on your PC. The other option would be using Zodo PDF Viewer that you can download in the Microsoft Store. It's a free app, and it's got a lot more features for annotating and editing, but today I'm just gonna teach you how to sign using Zodo PDF. So I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna go open with. And you can see the third option here is PDF Reader by Zodo. Let's open that up. And here you can see Zodo has a few more options already. If you go into the top right hand corner, you have the option here to edit. So I'm gonna select the option of editing. And you can see this is where Zodo differs from Microsoft Edge. It's a much more fully fledged PDF annotating tool. So I'm gonna zoom in again, just like I did on the other one. And to give you a preview of what Zodo can do, I'm gonna select the strike through option. This could be if you're marking something up, say for school or for work, and I'm gonna draw a perfect line through some of these words here. I'm gonna highlight some of the errors, and this is basically how you could edit and mark up and annotate using Zodo instead of using a physical document. 
but I'm going to scroll down. I'll create another video specifically on annotation tools at a later point. If you want to see that, let me know and I'll make it faster. But for today, I'm teaching you how to mark up and sign a document using Zodo and Microsoft Edge. So you can see there's a little square with a feather tail. If we select the signature option and then place where we want to put the signature, we have the option of having a pre-save signature or we can create a new one. For today, we're going to go to new signature and it's going to give us the whole page to write on. So I'm just going to put my name in. Aldo James. I can hit the option to make this my default signature so that will appear every single time. I don't have to write it over and over again. But I'm not going to tick that. I'm going to go to add signature and you can see here it's now dropped it into the page. I can make it larger, I can make it smaller, and I can move it around. The big thing is you have the option here to flatten. So once I select the option of flattening, it will say this will mark it permanently in the PDF document so it can't be modified or removed. So it, it's essentially saying it will embed it into the document so that people can't remove it later on. I think this is a really important feature and it's great that it's free in Zodo PDF. So I'm gonna hit the option of flatten and there we go, again, We've now signed and edited this document. What you wanna do next is hit the X button in the top left corner to get out of the editing. And again, we wanna save this. I recommend saving it as a second document, not as the original, just because that way you have your unedited and you have your edited version. I find it just helps keep track of everything you've done. And just in case you need to go back and edit it, you've always got the original copy. So I'm gonna hit the save or the download option, save as. And again, the computer's gonna ask me to save it. I'm gonna call this Sign Using Zodo. Saved, easy. So I'm gonna close that and I'm gonna open up both documents for you. Sign Using Edge, the first one. I'm gonna snap that to the right hand side. Then Sign Using Zodo. Let's pull that out and drop it over to the left hand side. And you can see here that I have two PDFs. They're both marked up, they're both annotated. I didn't have to use a piece of paper, I didn't have to use a pen, a phone, a printer, none of that stuff. It's all here on my computer. I did it really, really quickly. And what's next is just for me to send this off to wherever it needs to go. And it is that simple to mark up and sign documents in Windows 10 using digital ink. If you found this video useful, give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and let me know what other content you want to see. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.